My name is Hercule Poirot, and I am probably the greatest detective in the world. Murder on the Orient Express is directed by Kenneth Branagh and also starring Kenneth Branagh, Daisy Ridley, Johnny Depp, Judi Dench, Michelle Pfeiffer, Penelope Cruz, Willem Dafoe, Olivia Coleman, Tom Bateman, Josh Gad, and Leslie Odom Jr. Before I go any further, I just want to say there will not be any plot spoilers in this review. This is yet again another big screen adaptation of the Agatha Christie murder mystery. If you're not familiar with the book or its adaptations, essentially this revolves around a murder that takes place on a train that is known as the Orient Express. And luckily on board is Hercule Poirot, who is known as one of the world's greatest detectives. And it is up to him to figure out who did it and why. Kenneth Branagh is no stranger to literary adaptations. If you are familiar with his career, he has pretty much made a name for himself when it comes to adapting books into movies. He's done it with a lot of Shakespeare stuff, he's done it with Cinderella most recently, and now he is doing it with an Agatha Christie novel. Hercule Poirot is an interesting character, and I think the main strength of this movie is Kenneth Branagh's portrayal of him I thought was really fantastic. It was definitely the standout of this film. Hercule Poirot is a peculiar character. He has certain idiosyncrasies, he's very obsessive compulsive, he's a bit of a perfectionist, but he is great at his job, and his job is to solve mysteries, whether it be murder mysteries or what have you. He gets hired and, and travels across the world to solve these things. And here we have a very interesting mystery. I won't delve into it at all because I want to see people going into this film and trying to uh, go along for the ride that it is. I will also say that another strength of this film is the cast is truly exceptional. Some of these actors and actors are some of the most well-known we have in film today, and I have to say that they all do a fantastic job in this film. The problem I have is that they're not really featured a lot in the film, but I'll get to that when I get to uh, the more negative aspects of the film later. But right away in the film, you can tell that Kenneth Branagh really knows how to capture this world in which this film is set. He shoots the film on gorgeous 65mm, and when I mean gorgeous, I mean it looks fantastic initially. There are some CGI things later on when it comes to the exterior of the train as it's traveling that is a bit noticeable, but right away in this film, it is very impressive aesthetically. He also uses a lot of very interesting camera movements in this film, and trying to really do as much as he can being in a confined space. There's really only so many angles and things you can do when you're in a small space like a train car or even in one of the compartments on a train. So he likes to utilize some interesting techniques where it comes to using bird's eye view when two actors are talking or, or investigating a scene or he likes to move the camera from a more downward position and slowly make its way up to a more uh, topward position or upward position. So he's moving the camera at least to keep the film for being stagnant aesthetically, which I definitely greatly appreciate. Also, I think the story is kind of fun. If you're a big fan of murder mysteries, I think you'll get into the story. Because the film does have a lot of twists and turns and red herrings and all that kind of good stuff that we're all used to seeing when it comes to a good murder mystery. And Agatha Christie is particularly great at writing murder mysteries. Also, the film has a levity to it that I wasn't quite expecting. Particularly starting out, the film is moving at a quick pace. It feels very light. There's some comedy that it's in it. And also, there's some great back and forth, some great dialogue that's happening throughout the film, but definitely in the first act of the film. It definitely feels like we're going along on a fun adventure, and that leads me towards the more negative aspects of the film. Once the murder actually happens, the film switches from that more lighthearted, adventurous tone to being very serious, and the pacing of the film slows down tremendously. And I found it to be very noticeable. I don't know if a lot of 
other people will feel it, but I definitely felt that shift in tone, that shift in pacing. Also, the pacing being slowed down because of the investigation is both good and bad because, you know, we need to take our time figuring out what is going on, what is happening, who are the cast of characters that we have in this film, and what are they doing, what are their motivations, and all of that good investigative stuff. The other problem I have with all of that is when we delve into these characters, we don't really delve into them a lot. I understand that the film is dealing with a truncated amount of time and it's not a book so we can't really have things drag out too much, but I would have liked to have seen these cast of characters and actors and actresses do a little bit more with these roles. These actors are almost relegated to very fancy decoration or window dressing throughout this film, and the film does look aesthetically fantastic. The costuming, the set design is great, but also I found that the actors kind of almost assimilate themselves into the background at times. It's not that they are not giving times to shine when it comes to their acting ability, because certainly they are. Several of them have great moments in interacting with Poirot and developing this mystery and whatnot. So with all that being said, I'm going to give the film a 3.4 out of 5 stars. It's a fine film. It's a good film. It's not a particularly great film. The acting is good. The direction is very solid. So I definitely give this a recommendation. If you are a fan of murder mysteries, if you're a fan of Agatha Christie, I think it'll be a little worth your time just to check it out for curiosity sake. So that has been my review of Murder on the Orient Express. If you like this video, please check out the other videos on my channel.